Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated before you use a real money. This is a serious place to make mistakes. Uh, we will start. We're going to have a, just a small quick video here. Uh, we're going to start with the precision auto trade today. And uh, We're going to start, I'm going to show technical chart as well after this one here, uh, what happened today. And uh, we have the CL4 range, 1000, right, all of them on a daily target, 1000. ES3 minute, 1000. And a Russell, 1000. If you notice, they all barely hit the limits today. Uh, CL, 1300. 1000 ES 28 second uh, NASDAQ 1000 because uh, the last trade was uh, catch a nice trend uh, YM because of the last trade uh, 1900 and then we have 1700 on the NASDAQ 1700 on the ES this is a new template uh, the NASDAQ 350 took a couple of trades very success template 1475 and es two minutes 2000 and and uh, the 170 ticks i always highlight that every single day 1750 now after we have seen those uh, number and uh, the es made 2000 let me show you the technical chart i mean those are good number based on what happened today on the ES, like the ES two minutes got 2000. If we look today at the ES, it was all day long. Mainly the support at 46.75 and mainly the resistance at 46.81.50. So the market was going back and forth and around uh, 2.30, we went, dropped one little level which we have give you warning is going to be a lot of volatility this year immediately shoot up in the air all the way to the 4687 and then go back to the normal support area which this this kind of movement sometimes a trader can get lost on it so if we look at the one minute not rank bar not range not tick chart the one minute can identify what happened today or can identify the trend for the daily traders now if you are on a big swing trading you can go on a 10 minutes 15 minutes and 30 minutes but because this market practically is not a tradable today i mean um so in this cases here and uh, the precision auto trade is extremely accurate with the entry and does not require any filter to adjust anything so if we uh, look what really happened in the market today and we see the result on the auto trade yes uh, they hit the 1000 but normally we get much more than that and the reason is because of that so this is uh, one and also i want to show a different type of an auto trade which have uh, totally different type of auto trade have around 10 uh, uh, different entries and 10 different filters and also is on the same level plus minus let me show you <coughs> excuse me then if we look at the 38 second on the nasdaq it's okay i mean but you can see it was a lot of trades uh es 11 range took one trade and uh, we didn't want to uh, re rearm it again and let it run one more time the es 14 second because it's a smaller time frame of course it hit it and then uh, <clears throat> we have the four minutes es 1200 es one minute 1775 if you notice it's the same position as the two minutes because this one here where the es spike if you go back to the technical chart it, it the, the es spike once 
and the YM28 second 1600 on this one here on the CL13 range uh, 2000 and then we have a trade on the YM uh, the the best trade happened today it was on the Nasdaq uh, 6000 on the higher time frame but then if we examine I have uh, put out a video uh, the secret in, uh, in surviving on a bigger uh, time frame is um, at the beginning the Nasdaq uh, because we if you go back a couple of videos again this auto trade is not based on a stop loss is based on the price line and then if you notice here uh, I covered a couple of three days ago this week uh, on the because this one here uh, there is three elements long short neutral when this auto trade goes to neutral shut off that trade immediately so there is no training stop and stop loss when you are using a bigger time frame and uh, what we have explained to you uh, a couple of weeks ago that if you are using a stop loss on that kind of time frame uh, you're dead meat uh, in a way there is uh, immediately you blow up your account you cannot use a trailing stop or, or a dummy indicator based on a moving average to approach this kind of trades so on this kind uh, we are surviving a chop market it is very important not how much it makes money what is more important is can we survive the chop market and and then it was a chop we couldn't do anything and then around uh, 1038 the market trend and what happened here the 6500 cover this mess in here and then break even break even on the pullback the auto trade took that trade on the pullback bang and it was done so it's not how much it makes it is how we can survive until this market trend and a spike because normally the market spikes once a day and uh, the spike today on the ES was not much it was nothing it was really caught between the two channel but on this one here you can see the Nasdaq did move and when the Nasdaq did move the auto trade caught it at the same time it's not what uh, this one is more important this one here is more important to survive a chop market and then when the market start trending we if we're gonna look at the historical trade of this uh, it's the same thing here when the market is trending you get a big chunk of ticks profit big ticks profit and you cannot avoid that and um, and look at this chop 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 not you cannot do anything about it and when the market is trending you get a big chunk of ticks in there so uh, folks I wish you a very nice weekend and uh, and uh, we will see our members on Monday webinar thank you very much God bless you all and wish you a really pleasant weekend bye for now